So now that we've charged the Optimus Black, let's see what it can do on software side. We already know it's thin, sexy, has a big bright display, but that doesn't matter if the software isn't any good. This is Android 2.2 Froyo, and it has the Optimus 2.0 UI on it. If you've seen the Optimus 2X, then this is a little bit familiar to you, but there are a bunch of new things. First of all, if you hold this, if you long tap the screen, you get into this edit mode. And here you have wallpapers, shortcuts, widgets, folders, everything on there. And if you notice, it's still down there. So you can just go around, customize your device, see what you want. You hold to get it going, or to get it back to the regular menu. And as always, pinch, you get all the seven screens. Similarly, in your app, you have your app standard app view, but then you can also consolidate it down to a list menu. You can jump into your manage app. You can move apps. You can uninstall them quick and easy. But the interesting thing about this is this G button on the side, and it it's, uh, stands for gesture. This is a very strong gesture-based device. Now, what that means is you can hold this button as well as just interact with it to get things done. First, you have to enable that. So I've already done that, but let's dive into the settings to see what that means. There you go. You have your motion gestures, and this lets you move cursors, uh, switch, pan through galleries, turn off alarms, answer calls, and basically it's all aimed at helping you operate this device better with one hand. So instead of looking at it, let's show you. So if you hold this, you can tilt. If you tilt the phone, you notice it's moving. You, I'm holding the device, or I'm holding the app, so if you want to go to a separate home screen, it's a little bit easier than having to, you know, drag or go back to the app menu, drag it to the, the menu you want, or go like that. Neat, neat. You can also, I'm holding the gesture button, and it, and it rotates the home screens. Okay, that's cool. You see a lot of that in, throughout this UI. So here's Into Mobile and the Optimus Black is the top story, good stuff. If you hold down the gesture bar, notice it's scrolling there. That's kind of neat. Scrolls up. Scroll. Some of the best things about this though are, let's say, let's say you're walking around and you see something that you want to take a picture of. Normally you have to unlock, launch your camera app, do that, but with this, but with the gesture motions, you can hold the G button, shake it twice, boom, it'll launch right into the camera app. So you can capture that moment. And then let's say you take the shot, or you take a couple shots, and, and then you want to double check and see how good they are or how bad they are. So let's dive through the gallery. And then, well, that's okay, but I want to see the next one. See, you can just tap on the side and it can go to your gal or it'll it'll scroll through your pictures. Yeah, a lot of phones, exciting life. Uh, similarly, you can do that in your music player to go through the to go through different tracks. So there you go, cool, hip hip hip. But I want to go to the next one. Next one. Uh, I want to go back. See, went back. Pretty neat stuff. Um, even better, you can answer, you can mute calls, you can answer calls with gestures. Finally, we'll show you one more gesture motion that is actually pretty useful for me. I just set the alarm, should go off in a minute, you'll be able to make it snooze just by flipping it over. There you go. And it's snoozed. So, quick little look at the gestures in Android 2.2. On the Optimus Black, stay tuned, we'll have a full review. Thanks.